welcome back to my kitchen. So in today's video, I normally do a family favorite recipe, but I thought it would be fun to try a new recipe that I've never made before. And my daughter actually sent me this recipe on Pinterest and she made it and she said it is absolutely delicious. So I thought, okay, let's try it. And it is called cheesy chicken. Oh no, what I say it was cheesy. I don't know what I said it was. Okay, I just checked. It is cheesy ranch cracked chicken lasagna. It sounds delicious. The ingredients sound like something we love. And I needed to cook something for dinner tonight and also for James to have for lunch tomorrow. So let's get started. Okay, for this recipe, it calls for 12 sheets of lasagna, three 12 ounce cans of evaporated milk, two packets of ranch seasoning, an eight ounce cream cheese, three cups of chopped cooked chicken, which I will be cooking this chicken, one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese shredded, one and a half cups of, let's see, one and a half cups of sharp cheddar cheese shredded, three ounces of chopped bacon bits, and then chopped green onions or fresh parsley, for garnishing and I have fresh parsley and then James also picked up these chives. So I don't know which one we'll use, but that's what you're gonna need to make this recipe. So let's see how it turns out. First of all, it calls for, I'm gonna be reading the directions because I've never made it before. It calls for um, three cups of cooked chicken or about one rotisserie chicken. So I have a pack of chicken breasts. I'm gonna season them up, put it in the oven and let that cook. And while that's cooking, then we'll move on to the next step. So let's get that started. Okay, so I have cut up my chicken breast. I have seasoned it up and I've got it in the oven cooking. And so per the recipe, we are to start the noodles boiling first. So I have put on a pot of water to boil my noodles. And James said, James, what did you say? If you're gonna be boiling any kind of starch like this, it's best to add just a little bit of olive oil into your water to kind of help it from boiling over. So I'm gonna add a dash of olive oil to my water, get it going, and then I'm gonna get my noodles boiling. Olive oil or butter. So got my olive oil. Put me a little dash in there. Now, I have never made any type of lasagna. I've never done it. James has always done it. He makes the best lasagna, but I could not persuade him to be on camera with me as much as y'all love him, but I'm gonna attempt this and see. So, it calls for 12 sheets of lasagna, and I had exactly 12 sheets of lasagna in this box, so I think it's meant to be, y'all. So, James, do I wait till my water boils before I put my lasagna in? You best he said it's best to wait for my water to boil before I put my lasagna in, so I'm gonna listen to him, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm reading off my directions here, and it says, while my noodles are boiling, I'm going to prepare the white sauce. So for the white sauce, we are going to add the evaporated milk and the ranch seasoning and we're gonna stir that constantly until it starts to thicken up. And then we're gonna add in our cream cheese, which I've already cubed, and we will mix that until it's all blended, and that's our white sauce. So let me get a pot for that. Now we are to heat in a saucepan, we're gonna heat our milk and our ranch seasoning over low heat, whisk constantly, and heat for five minutes until the mixture starts to thicken. So let's do that. Instead of 
instead of filming me whisking this for five full minutes, as soon as it starts to thicken up before I add the cream cheese, I'll get back on. Okay, I've been whisking this for five minutes and it has thickened up a little bit. Let me show you the consistency. It's a little bit thicker than what it was. Okay, so now it says to put in my cream cheese that I have cut up into cubes. So I'm going to do that. I've cubed it up. And I'm gonna whisk that until smooth. My noodles are boiling. Last little bit of cream cheese. Now I'm gonna kinda take this out long enough to wash my hands. Now we're gonna go back to whisking. So let me get this done and I will get back on here. Okay, my cream cheese is all melted. It says to, um, let's see, it says mix until smooth, which I think it's pretty smooth. So I'm going to turn my heat off because my noodles are still cooking and my chicken's still cooking. But while that's still cooking, I'm going to get out a nine by 13 baking dish. And I'm gonna spray it with cooking spray. And then we'll be ready to put all this together once our chicken and noodles are done. Y'all, it smells so good. Okay, so my sauce is done, my noodles are done, and my chicken's done. So now I'm gonna point the camera down and we're gonna start putting this together as I read the directions. I will need Bye, humble. I will need a cup and a half cup, so I've got these ready to use. So let me point the camera down. Okay, now it says mm -hmm. after I spray this, which I did, I'm gonna pour three quarter cup of white sauce in the bottom of the bacon pan. So let me get my three quarter cup. So I don't have a three quarter cup, but I do have a one quarter cup. I'll just do it three times. So let me get, so I'm gonna put it. Y'all, James could be in here helping me, but no, he's not. Okay. So now I've got that in there and it says to pour it on the bottom. So I'm just gonna kinda do it around and cover the bottom of my pan like that, okay? So now I'm gonna place a layer of the cooked pasta over the sauce. So, uh oh, this one's torn, let me get the James! Hell is out. James! My pasta was torn. What? Oh, yeah. Put together anyway. Did I just cut a piece off? Hmm. Right there. James, you want to help me? No. Okay. So, now I sprinkle half of the chicken over the pasta. So, the chicken. We have a lot of chicken. So, bad boys need fuel. <laughs> we get buster a piece. So, is this like you think this is about half of the chicken? Yeah, that's about half. As long as you got good coverage over it, it'll be fine. Okay, half of the chicken. Now I'm gonna do half of a cup of mozzarella and half of a cup of cheddar cheese. So this is my half a cup. So here's my mozzarella. Put it in here. Okay. So basically a good handful is what that was. Okay. Oh, no. and a half a cup of sharp cheddar. Sprinkle that. Okay. 
Okay. All right. And then it says to do one cup of sauce over this. That's my cup. So do one cup over this. That wasn't quite a cup, so I'm gonna get just a smidge more to make up the difference. Okay. So now I'm going to repeat that. The layer of pasta, remaining chicken, half a cup of each of the cheeses, and one cup of the sauce. Mm -hmm. the last layer of pasta, remaining sauce, topped with cheese and chopped bacon. Okay, so our remaining pasta. Okay. This pasta is hot. Okay, that's why it said 12, because that's exactly what I used. Okay, perfect. All right. Then the remaining sauce will go over this, the remaining cheese. So a half a cup of each. Okay, that's what it is. So a half a cup. Okay. So the remaining sauce will go over the top of this. Another half a cup of the cheese. I've got my oven preheated to 350. Okay. calls for three ounces, let me double check, three ounces of bacon bits. I don't know how many three ounces is, so I'm just going to kind of do a handful and just kind of put it over the top like this. We're going to call that good. All right. Then we're gonna cover and we're gonna bake this for 20 minutes and then we're gonna uncover and bake another 10 minutes or until bubbly and heated. So let me get some full. And y'all, don't laugh at me. This is all, oh, look at there. This is all the full I had. It was meant to be. I did not have any other full. So that is perfect. Okay, put it in the oven. gonna set my timer for what did I say 20 minutes we'll see okay so I just took it out of the oven it's been in there for 20 minutes and oh my goodness y'all does that not look delicious so now I have to put it in the back in the oven for an additional 10 minutes uncovered so I'm gonna do that next now I just put it back in the oven for additional 10 minutes uncovered but I'm gonna keep a close eye on it because it says um, it says to 10 minutes until it starts bubbling. So I know that temperatures and times can vary with ovens. So I'm gonna check it like in five minutes and just kind of keep a close eye on it so I don't burn it. So I'll let you know. Okay, so I just took my lasagna out. I only let it stay in there another five minutes because it started bubbling really good around the edges. I'm going to show you. It was bubbling really good around the edges, so I just took it out, and we're going to call it done. So now I'm going to serve up a piece of it and see if I can sweet talk my honey into taste testing it for us. Y'all think I can do that? We'll see. I almost forgot. Now I'm going to take my chives. I'm going to wash them up, and then I'm going to take my little 
scissors and just kind of cut them up and just garnish the top of it. So let me get them washed and I'll be right back. much for pretty presentation. Good thing you're pretty. <laughs> okay. You just gonna cut it up into bite sized pieces now and let it cool. Is it a new fave? Mm -mm. No? It's not going to be a new family favorite? That is good fat boy fuel right there. Speak up, they can't hear you. That is good fat boy fuel Don't right yell there. yell at them! Say it again, James. Don't yell. Turn the oven off. So, it cooked. There's plenty enough time for it to cook. That's good and through and through. Describe the flavor, James. Tell them what it tastes like. Do a Guy Fieri. Mm-mm. Is it good and ranchy? Yeah, it's good and ranchy. Just enough ranch, just enough chicken, just enough pasta, just enough cheese. And bacon. But what took it over the edge was the chai. Is there anything you would change in this recipe? Because you know I followed a recipe and you know how we like to critique things. Should I critique anything in this recipe? Some bacon is good or bacon is better. So add more bacon. If you like bacon. Is that something you change? Hmm. All right. Well, I'm excited to get me a taste of this, but it has been approved. You can deal with having this in your lunch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that little red subscribe button. And what do you tell them? Give it a thumbs down? Little red subscribe button down there. Okay. Are you gonna be more on more videos with me if they hit the subscribe button? This is not my channel. But they love you, James. All right, y'all. I will come back to see y'all. You heard it here. I got it on video and I won't edit it out. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I had to pop on here to let y'all know. I just tried this and OMG. So good. And it may not be one of James's family favorite recipes, but I'm definitely going to add this to mine. It is so good. And I think once 
I bake it and, you know, cook it more and learn, you know, it won't be so time consuming. I love it. Very good.